Fanaroli near Brescia in Lombardy, Italy. We arrived yesterday, had a great evening shoot in the piazzas in Brescia and today we move on to Mantova. as it's known to some, a historic old town here in Lombardy in northern Italy. I think this is a classic view, but unfortunately this morning, our first morning here, the light is very muggy, hazy, uninspiring. So I'm not at all confident this morning session is going to work at all. Nevertheless, I think this is a really strong location and well, one well worth working. My only concern is that crane there on the skyline. But hopefully, Wendy, the queen of Photoshop retouching, will be able to take it out. off second morning here and finally the lights come through pretty full frontal lighting which isn't my favorite but the lovely warm colors on the of the stone in that early morning light reflecting in the water I think the shots come together quite nicely So on this morning shoot, I'm joined by my friend here, Heinz Forster. He's also an F11 member, I hasten to add. And uh, he has a history of standing on my foreground interest, actually. Welcome to San Amiata in Tuscany. 
Sun's coming up just over there, just starting to touch the abbey behind me. We've been here for a few days doing one-to-one -one tuition. Now I'm working on my own stuff. Down there is the village of Seggiano, classic Tuscan hilltop village, just picking out, or it was, just being picked out by the very first light of day. Shooting with a long lens, around about 400 millimeter and a polarizer, really to compress the perspective with the mountains beyond. What I'm waiting for now, when the sun comes through the cloud there to the uh, northeast, uh, is having done that first shot with the village there in the first light, is now for the light to come on my foreground of these olive trees down below me. We're in southern Tuscany now, about 30 kilometers south of the Orchard Valley, uh, and up behind me here is Mount Amiata. The light's coming through on my foreground here with the dappled light on the landscape beyond and the village of Seggiano, all very beautiful. What I particularly love about these landscapes with these olive trees in them is in the first light of the day, the leaves of the olive trees almost glow with a metallic light quality. It's really quite beautiful. Tuscany. Tomorrow we start heading north. Finishing up here, shooting this vineyard, uh, looking down towards the village of Castel del Piano in the Grosseto region of southern Tuscany. The light's a bit flat, not that interesting. There's a bit of weak evening light coming in, uh, but I'm just hoping that it'll get a bit stronger for my last session. One thing I've got into doing on this trip has been shooting with a slightly more letterbox format than the conventional 2x3 aspect ratio. It's a 16x9 widescreen format and in live view I'm shown the image as it's cropped there. If I go to menu for example you can see crop aspect ratio 16x9. I'm still recording the whole information, the whole picture, it's just, it's helping me compose to that aspect ratio. 
It's our last evening here and you can probably hear music. There's a, a wedding happening in the castle above us up here. And music's being played. There's a crowd round a pool enjoying the evening. And you can hear a nightingale in the background. Beautiful light, isn't it? Gorgeous.